Hello everyone and welcome back to another Watch Me Work on my channel. Today we're going to do my daughter's nails, transform them. She hasn't gotten her nails done in quite a while. And I'm also going to let you listen in on some conversations that we have during this video. So if this interests you, just keep on watching. So I had to look up to see when my daughter was in last to get her nails done and it was December 23rd and she had these nails. Just something really simple where she could soak off herself. Being a mom of twins, her life is extremely busy so she can't get in every three weeks to have her nails done. So we are going to do a full coverage tip. And I chose this method because forms do not stick to her fingers. There's no way I could get a form to work. So instead of going through the frustration of sculpting out on a form, I am going to use full coverage tips and apply them with gel. And you'll see how I do that in this video. I won't glue tips onto her nails because her hands are in and out of water all the time. The glue will lose its hold because her hands are in water all the time. So full coverage tips works really well for her. She needs to work more slacker. <laughs> right? No, he's at home. Yeah. Okay. He's not worried. I'm worried. I'm not worried. Mama's got a car. I can give you a ride home. I know. Okay, well, I guess I'll just go to this Kel tire when I'm done. Yeah. And just what? Tell them that my monitor alert tire pressure sensor went off? Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. And I bought the tires, the Cal tires, and it should be all covered. Okay. Okay. My poor girl. She stresses just like her mama does. <laughs> so after I pushed the proximal nail fold back to expose the cuticle on the nail plate, she had quite a bit of cuticle on her nail plate just because she has not been getting her nails done and she doesn't push her, what we call pushing her cuticles back at all. So I had a little bit of work to do. Not too bad. I mean, because she has a lot of moisture to her hands anyway, her cuticles were in quite great shape, if I'm being honest. So the bit I'm using is the Atwoods Texas Tornado Skyver bit. And I'm testing out a rechargeable pen-like e-file. So it's very light that I got off of Timu. I wouldn't recommend this e-file. It's great for doing cuticle prep, but not for debulking the nail at all. There's just not enough torque with this little guy. Sorry, I just need to move you a little okay. for your thumb. Here, I thought it was pens. <laughs> mm -mm. Short thumb. I was like laying in bed last night and I was like, huh. My nails are long. I just bite them. <laughs> so I bit them. I was like, well, mom's doing them tomorrow. It's fine. <laughs> Hilarious. Uh, but I told myself I probably shouldn't, but I couldn't help it. <laughs> she cracks me up. How many nail biters do we have out there? And you can't see me, but I am raising my hand. If I don't have nails on, yes, I do bite my nails. And it's very hard to not do that. Okay, on to the prep here. I am using, this is a Erica's bit. I think it's a, I don't know what it's called, you guys. I'm sorry, I got it in a kit, in a Russian manicure, dry manicure kit. And I use this bit for, if the cuticles are really hard, I'll, I will use this bit, but I will also use this bit if I need to prep the natural nail itself because it is quite fine. And I'm not taking a layer of nail off, I'm just, scratching the surface to get rid of the shine so we can apply the gel and there will be no lifting.
And this is the last bit I use. This is also from the Erica's Russian dry manicure kit. I will go over the cuticle itself or the proximal nail fold and get rid of any hangnails or any dry flaking skin. It is great for those clients that have high sidewalls and right where the free edge meets the tip of the nail in the sidewall area, some cl clients get a lot of buildup and I wanna say crustiness, just dryness there. This bit works wonders for that area. After the prep is done, I'm getting rid of all the dust with my dust brush and 99% isopropyl alcohol, letting that dry. And then I'm gonna go in with a tried and true primer. This is INM O&L primer. Now, because my daughter has quite moist hands, <laughs> One little dab won't do. So I am just using very little on my brush and scrubbing it in just so everything dehydrates. So when I do apply the bonder, it is going to stick. If moisture gets in there, then her nails do not last. Now I'm gonna go in with Light Elegance Tack, scrub that into the nails and cure for 30 seconds. I find that this bonding agent works really well with applying full coverage tips. It's probably a step that could be skipped and just go in with my base gel, but with the fact that my daughter does have very moist hands, I wanna make sure that her nails are gonna last. Now I'm gonna go in with Wildflower's base foundation, just put a thin layer on the nails and I'm gonna cure for 30 seconds. life with a headache sorry you got that from me from oma or you can be thankful oma passed something down to you <laughs> sure I thought so. you know what charles got from me because well because dad said i'm pretty sure i did it too though when i was a kid when he told me not to touch something and i went to go touch it anyway like one of those like slow motion like don't touch it and i would try to do it anyway he does that all the freaking time i think that's a uh... A toddler thing yeah because i think it might have been yesterday i was jake like, does it i was like don't touch your brother and he literally goes like this he goes slowly i'm like i told you not to touch your brother and he goes he, 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 and he pulls his hand yeah. and I was like, oh, shit. welcome to two i should also mention that because my daughter's nails are quite flat i am trying to build up just a tiny little bit with the base gel. That way, when I put the tips on, they will fit better on her finger. Five thirty this morning. I was in the bathroom. All I could hear from Charlie's room: "Mom, mom, mom." <laughs> I'm like, yes. He's like, I pooped. I'm like, okay. Because <laughs> he'll tell me when he poops. <laughs> Which is good. I'd rather him tell me than not. Yeah. But it's cute. But yeah, literally. So anytime he says mom, I, all I can think about is Stewie from Family Guy. Yeah. And that clip. Okay. This is where you come in. You can take your hand out. Oh, yeah, because I got to push the button. Yeah. Okay, come here, push the button. So right here, all my daughter's doing is just putting a flash cure on her nails. Then we'll do a full cure at the very end. So here I'm just putting a very thin layer on the nail again. And with the leftover product that's on my brush, I'm gonna scrape it into the nail that I have 
that's fitted for that tiny little finger she has. Her nail beds are so tiny. Oh my gosh, world's tiniest nails right here, folks. <laughs> Now I'm just gonna go with a medium grit zebra sanding band and I'm just gonna scratch the surface, buff it all up, make sure that there's no gel that's seeped on the cuticle and along the side walls and do a little bit of shaping as well. Where'd you get that from? Timu. And <laughs> um, it's not the best. I mean, what do you expect for fifteen dollars? Yeah. yeah. The new girl that started working with us, she was like, "I love Timu." I was like, "That's right, we're friends." <laughs> I was like, "What'd you order?" She like ordered like some clothes, and they're actually pretty cute. Yeah. I love our conversations. I never realized how much we talk about things when she comes and gets her nails done. I think this is just a time where we can talk about everything. There's no kids around, so we're not interrupted and we get to catch up on what's going on with our family. So yeah, I did cut out quite a bit of personal family things, like her wedding plans. I don't think she would want me to broadcast that on YouTube. <laughs> Okay, because we were talking so much, I completely forgot to turn the camera on. On her pinky, I'm using Ugly Duckling number 44, which is the white. Her ring finger and index finger and thumb, I'm using 131 from Ugly Duckling. And on her middle finger, I have Splish Splash from On Vogue. So after I put the first layer on, we will cure for one minute my UV LED lamp. Then I'm gonna go back and put a second layer on and then cure again for one minute. So here I'm putting the top coat on the pinky finger and the middle finger. I'm using Magic's Tackless Hyper Shine. I'm done with these fingers, so I just want them out of the way and not have to worry about them. So I'm taking Splish Splash and I'm going to create some leaves with this color. And I'm also gonna do the same thing with number 44 from Ugly Duckling, you'll see here. And I'm also using, I think it's, number 33 gel paint from Magic called Real Gold as well in this design. So I know I'm not in the center frame. Unfortunately, the camera was right in the middle <laughs> of my line of sight. So I had to move over to the side a little bit, but here you get to see how I will maneuver the client's hands around to get the design that I want. Sometimes it's easier to flip their hand around and draw a hand painted leaf for whatever you're doing with their hand twisted all over the place. <laughs>
When I got to the thumb, I realized I made a mistake. I was to do a curtain French with two different colors on the ring finger, and I was just in flower mode, so you'll hear our conversation about that. <gasps> I did that one wrong. Which one? Your ring finger. Do your little curtain thing on this one then. Oh, okay. <laughs> this doesn't bother me. I was just like in the flower motor. <laughs> Yeah, whatever, do it on this one. Okay. This is what I call a curtain French, where it, the French is kind of rounded. I don't know if it's called that or not. That's what I call it. Kind of looks like your 70s curtain that's hanging on a window, right? Just tell me yes. Yes, it does, Carrie. So I'm gonna do one side, cure it for one minute with number 44 from Ugly Duckling, and then I'm gonna do the other side of the thumb with the blue, which is Splish Splash from En Vogue. After full cure, I'm gonna go in with Magic's Tackless Glass Finish. This is a thicker top coat, so it's great for going over any designs and it cures to a very high shine. A lot of times I will use the glass finish and then buff and put the Tackless Hyper Shine over top if I need to buff. When I do hand painted art, like any kind of line work or French, I normally do have to buff or file just to get a smooth finish on top. I don't like a bumpy surface when I'm doing art or any kind of gel application. I like the top of the nail to be nice and smooth or as smooth as I can get it. So nine times out of 10, I will buff it and then go in with my tactless hyper shine to get that nice shine back again. This is one of the reasons why I will top coat a nail that I'm not working on anymore, like the middle finger and the pinky finger. That way, if I have to do any filing or buffing, there's no dust on that dispersion layer on the two solid colors, and I don't have to worry about it, like I said earlier. Then after everything is done, I will go in with my cuticle oil. Here I am using Famous Names Daddy Oil and I will massage it in with this bit from Erica's. This was also in that dry manicure kit. I will have all the products that I used in the description box below for you guys. But what this bit does is massages that cuticle oil into the skin and also sloughs off any dry skin that's unseen. <laughs> Trust me, it really does work. And when I can see skin coming off by doing this, I mean, I don't mean like chunks of skin, but just that layer of dry, dead, chapped skin. It is so satisfying. And here is the finished look. So see, I did do the curtain French on the ring finger on one hand and I completely screwed up on the other hand, but I think it turned out really cute. So if you have any questions about this Watch Me Work, please put them in the comment section below. 
And again, I will list all the products that I used in this video in the description box below. And I think that is it. Don't forget to follow me on all my social media. And thanks everyone for watching. Bye guys.